Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to take the library themes from Streamlabs OBS and use them in plain Jane OBS Studio over here on the left hand side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just pick one and install it. So let's go and use Siege of the Day. So you go over here, you install your overlay. So what this is going to do over there is going to install all of the files on my computer and they're going to be accessible in Streamlabs OBS, but they will not be accessible over here in OBS Studio. So if you use OBS Studio, I use it because I like my instant replay features that I have I've built into it. But take a look over here, our live scenes this is it it's already set up and ready for us to go i could just add my webcam and be ready to use it so here's the starting soon scene we're going to go ahead and use this as an example of how we take this scene here so this is a media source actually we're going to see how we're going to take this media source we're going to check the properties we're going to copy the location of it press Control a press Control Control c copy done we're going to go over here and we're going to create a new we're going to create a new media source in our obs uh, studio we're gonna call this new media source and it doesn't matter because I'm gonna delete it so we're gonna browse now when we click our location oh look I was already doing it earlier we see that the file name is 11 dot web M up here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete this enter your location this will bring you to the folder and then you will select number 11 because that's the one that it was and you want this to loop if you don't have the file looping the media will stop playing so make sure you click loop bring my main display up and here I am and that's it we did it that's using the starting soon screen from Streamlabs OBS in OBS studio like if you like the video subscribe if you want to see more and catch me on twitch.tv slash navits for dota 2 gameplay peace out guys